Welcome back to our channel, Green Backyard. In recent years, bird watching has surged in popularity, captivating nature enthusiasts and bird lovers worldwide. This rise in internet can be attributed to the calming and rewarding experience it offers, connecting individuals with the beauty of the natural world. And one essential tool fueling this passion is the bird box cameras, which allow enthusiasts to intimately observe avian life without disturbing their habitat. Green Backyard application bridges the gap between technology and nature, enhancing the joy of bird watching while promoting awareness, education, and active conservation making it an indispensable tool for every bird enthusiast. And here are our bird box cameras. It comes in different types to suit your specific need. This one here is our PoE network cable bird box camera. It allows both power and data to be transmitted over a single ethernet cable since it's using PoE technology to power. This one is our wireless bird box camera. And this wireless camera wireless bird box camera is compatible with Alexa and Google Home Assistant. And this wireless bird box camera comes with a wireless repeater, which can extend the wireless signal up to 150 feet. And last but not least, we have our long-range wireless bird box camera. This camera can extend the signal up to 650 feet. So for these three cameras, you can use the QR code on our Green Backyard application in order to connect with the app. But for the PoE network cable bear box camera and the long range bear box camera, we're using a different method. If you're interested in how to set up this wireless bear box camera, you can watch another video on how to install them. So next, I'm going to show you how to connect with our network cable bird box camera and the long range bird box camera. So in order to connect with our network cable HD bird box camera, we'll need adapter that has a PoE port and a LAN port. And this 20 meters cable and this one meters ethernet cable are included in the kit. So first, I'm going to connect our router, which can provide the wireless, well, to provide the network actually, and plug it into the LAN port to provide internet to our bird box camera. Next, I'm going to use this 20 meters ethernet cable to connect to the PoE port. And let's power it up. and then use the cable to connect with our camera. So this is the PoE port. It can send both power and data to our camera. So you can see the indicated light is on instantly and it has a waterproof cap. You can push it into here and then twist it so now it's very tight and waterproof. So here is our bird box camera. You have to download our Green Backyard application. So go to the App Store and search for Green Backyard. Let me type it in. I already downloaded it, so let's open it up. And after you log in, just click the plus button. We are using device in LAN, this method to connect with the camera. So instantly you see a camera is listed here. Click on it and wait for a few seconds for it to connect to the camera. So as you can see, this is absolutely a live video and it's already connected. So now let's talk about the long range bird box camera. This is the wireless receiver. It can be powered by PoE or a power supply. 
And this is our Bear Boss camera. It has a built-in wireless transmitter. That's why they can achieve long-range distance up to 650 feet. And actually, it's just using the same method as we connect with the previous camera. So now I'm going to use the PUE technology, which using a single Ethernet cable to transmit both power and data. And over here, all you need to do is plug in a power supply just like this. And open up our app. You are doing exact the same thing. Hit the plus button and click on devices in LAN and then you'll be connected to our long-range Bird Box camera successfully. So that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for joining us and please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel Green Backyard. Happy bird watching!